All right, guys, welcome uh, to Cyberry Black Hat 2019. We're here with a good friend and uh, somebody I've done a lot of things with in the past, Joe Loomis from CyberSpons, CEO and co-founder. How are you? Good seeing you, Or Ryan. founder. Founder. Founder, that's right, that's yeah, right. Co-founders didn't, didn't, didn't make it out very much. So we uh, kind of had to stick it out on my own. Okay, understandable. Um, but what I wanted to talk about a little more before we get into CyberSpons with I think somebody who's a little more technical than myself who can co cover that and understand it, I want to talk about the initiative and how things are going with IRC. So I've been associated with IRC for a couple of years now mm -hmm. and it seems to just be growing like a weed. Tell me what's going on there. So the IRC is continually growing. Uh, the community is up to almost a thousand people awesome. uh, that are just instant responders looking to educate themselves. Uh, and it's more about the people coming out of college that really want to make a break into the cybersecurity space, yep. uh, job openings, get familiarity with uh, the industry itself. So the IRC is coming up here September 5 and 6, and we're going to have another free two days of training. We're going to have a two-day awesome. competition. So there's two, a one competition on day one and then a second competition on day two. So you can either participate on one day or the other or do training on the other. So we're alternating a little bit. Um, and we're just taking feedback from the market and, and what people are looking for and how things, uh, how things are shaping up. But good sponsors this year, again, it's, it's been about communicating to everybody, yep. about, about training and educating. Yep. Uh, we really can't fight this fight without good operators. That's and, right. And we got to get we got to get more of a, a boot camp mentality where people can understand what it is that they can do to perform optimally in their job. Yep, yep. So we uh, we've talked about how Cyberry's mission aligns really closely with the IRC. That's yep. why I'm a part of, of the organization, um, and the fact that it's been growing and the community's coming together and getting bigger and bigger is amazing. Um, the free training aspect is something super compelling that I really really liked about what you guys do. What um, what kind of topics are covered in, in maybe th in this upcoming year? Yep. What kind of things are, uh, and trainings are going to be covered at the event? So the training. We're giving them hands-on training so they can really understand what products and tools can do and how they actually use them. Mm -hmm. So they're getting really in-depth uh, product training itself. So they're not just learning you know, theoretical stuff on a, on a whiteboard or in a classroom like you would if you took like a SANS course. They're actually getting on product and on range so they can actually get hands-on experience. Yep. And they're working with, uh, with, with, with more experienced operators. So we're, we're focusing today on uh, uh, the, the IRC around the MITRE ATT&CK framework. Uh, so yes. learning about how the attack framework works and how the adversaries use it and then how to actually learn the framework so that you can counter the adversary itself. Okay. So there's going to be a lot of MITRE ATT&CK um, statements, a lot of products, a lot of demonstrations, a lot of expl explanations around certain types of APTs and threats yep. that are out there yep. and how to use the framework in order to be able to educate and learn how to defend against. Gotcha. So last year had some really good speakers, including you and I on a jam session yep. where we talked about people getting into the industry yep. at greater scale. Um, could you go over for me some, who were some of the people that spoke last year, what was presented, and then some of the more, you know, the keynotes and people presenting this year? So last year we had, uh, like, we were talking a lot about cloud with Philippe from Qualys. We talked about uh, the Palo Alto. Rick Howard came and did a keynote. Yep. Uh, and talked about the cybersecurity framework that Palo Alto's uh, implementing. Uh, we talked a lot about the incident response lifecycle with threat intelligence with Anomaly. Gotcha. So they're going to be a, a back again this year as well. They're Great. a big push. Um, they're actually working closely with CyberSpons on the automation orchestration side with threat intelligence. So you're going to see a convergence between Anomaly and CyberSpons working closely together. Great. Um, this year, uh, the, the, the agenda is just getting finalized now, but I know that there's a lot of product demonstrations and capability sessions, so it's not really a sales pitch. Uh, you're really being able to use the products themselves. Uh, you're going to see, I'm not too closely to uh, Palo Alto anymore because of the Demisto acquisition itself, but we've got some, we got the FBI and Secret Service coming to do some explanations of how to get involved with law enforcement on the yep. cybersecurity space, yep. because a lot of times crimes and attacks happen, there might be a crime that's taken presence that you need to preserve certain evidence. Yep. So we're doing some work with uh, access data as well on the forensic side of incident response. People are starting to see that the importance of understanding how to forensically capture uh, certain types of data, like a drive image, for yep. example, as yep. soon as it's been compromised, getting a capture of that drive will be powerful, especially if you're dealing with ransomware, because if you can capture an image of the drive before the, the ransomware actually takes effect, you actually can preserve all the data that the drive already had on it, so you won't have to necessarily pay for the ransom itself. Got it. 
Got so it. these things, awesome. kind of things that are happening with the, uh, the incident response consortium, where we really took the feedback of the MITRE approach because it's really good community-driven frameworks yep. that we're ab actually being able to get people to understand what MITRE is and how to contribute yourself because all MITRE is is really re contributions of other team members right. providing like, this is how we handle these adversaries yep. and this is a framework that we follow. Yeah, makes sense. Awesome, man. So kind of wrapping up, why don't you tell us a little bit about, uh, one, where people can join the IRC, uh, um, and then two, tell us uh, when and where on the conference again. So it's Arlington, Virginia, September five and six of this year. Uh, it's coming up. It's free to attend. You should go register right on the website, incidentresponse.com or .org, depending which one you want to prefer to go to. Uh, you'll find a lot of free training materials on there as well as links to Cybrary and all your content yep. and your, your, your libraries of information. A lot of playbooks are out there too, so people that can understand how to deal with malware and incident response, uh, DDoS attacks, et cetera. Uh, the conference is, uh, it's, it's got much more momentum this year than it even did last year. Yeah, last year we capped out about 600 attendees. Uh, we've already got over you know, 400 attendees registered already and we're still a month away, more than a month away. Yeah. Most of the traction comes this last month where people started willing to attend. We're yeah. seeing everything from federal agencies coming, from NSA to, to large corporations like General Electric and, and uh, large uh, commercial entities, et cetera. Yep. So it's going to be a big, uh, September 5 and 6 uh, That's great. 2019. That's awesome. So when it comes to incident response, don't miss out on that, that event. It's don't miss just out on that. Non it, especially event. when you're, one, you're willing to give back and you want to learn the latest yeah. and greatest. It's, it's a place where everybody can meet. It's really a meetup around incident response. We try to formalize it, and I believe it's something that I'll probably do for the rest of my career, even mm -hmm. after cyber response gets bought and sold. I think that building the incident response consortium has been a passion that I kind of can relate to how exciting it is to work for Cyberary because it, it's, a, it's a lot different of a vendor feel when you show up that willing with, with help and, yeah. and contribution and education. Yep. You get a lot more welcoming than you are when you're a vendor. And so I really noticed that, that kind of contrast when I'm on the vendor side of CyberSpawns, you're in this competition space where everybody's trying to sell, sell, sell. Yep. But when you're in the education space, everybody's so much more different to you. The yeah. attitudes are entirely different. Uh, the approach is different. They're, it's much more of a welcoming community when you want to give back. And you watch it become a growing organism because those people can participate. So yes. it becomes part of theirs, exactly which is right. really powerful. Yeah. My friend, CEO and founder of CyberSpawns, Joe Loomis. Thanks, guys. Hey, thanks a lot, Ryan.